and we wanted to give the bees some time to work. Um, it's really important though that when we check that we're making sure that the bees have enough room and they're not overcrowded and that's why we've been looking to add those uh, honey supers and queen excluders because if the bees do get, or if the hives get too overcrowded, uh, we raise potential risk for a swarm and all the bees could be. One of the facts we have to talk about today is that bees have personalities. Even in beehives, there are workers and shirkers. Researchers at the University of Illinois have found that not all bees are interchangeable drones. Some bees are thrill seekers, others are a bit more timid. A 2011 study even found that agitated honeybees can be pessimistic, showing that to some extent bees might have feelings. Another bee fact is that they can actually recognize human faces. Um, they take parts like lips, eyebrows, and all that just to um, and kind of cobble them together to identify the whole face. That's called configural processing. And it's actually it could be a part, it could play a part in helping computer scientists with face ID like recognition in the future. Also, uh, bees are helping medicine throughout the world. So to reinforce their lives, uh, the bees use a resin um, from poplar and evergreen trees called propolis, and this is basically like a beehive glue that they use. And uh, although the bees use it for their own things, humans can use it to fight off bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Research has shown that the propolis um, from the beehive may cause uh, relief from canker sores, sore throats, cavities, and even eczema. All right, so I think with that, we are going to get into it. Here, let's take a check. Which one, one are we going for? Yeah. So, let's open that up. So we're just, this one is very undeveloped, so we're just pulling this one out to give ourselves a little more room to move the other frames around. So here, this is an entire frame of honey right here. Uh, actually, there's a little bit of brood down there as well. So, But you can see at, right here, they're building outwards a lot. Um, and then on this side, there's also some brood going on. Um, 
Um, and they're making some honey right there as well. And we can tell that because there aren't any of the caps on it. The caps mean that those are kind of the developing um, bees that have not been born yet. So this is definitely developing a lot quicker than it was two weeks ago. How many frames of the show? Yeah, so on this top one, I would say four. four. Oh. So I think we should, I don't think we're going to put the, um, the, yeah, super on yeah, we're not going to throw the honey super on yet until there's around six or seven fully um, developed frames on this one. So we're going to leave that. We're going to throw this one back in and then we'll check the bottom. Just to... There's no real risk that we see for overcrowding and uh, much more leaving. So we're just going to leave it as is. And, let the bees and you guys probably don't need to check the bottom. I'd say we just leave them. Let them, uh, let them do their work. Let Maybe give the other hive top box a quick look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll get the other one. Alright. And if you guys have, um, maybe not noticed from other weeks, uh, we did get rid of the feeder because the bees are now self-sufficient on their own food. So now just right after that top box, um, we have the top. So the bees are producing their own food. Alright. Now we'll hop into Okay, so this one is definitely still more developed. Um, so yeah, we will remove this frame right here, just to give, us, give ourselves a little room. These guys are definitely moving a little quicker. Um, both sides completely filled up. This is a lot of honey on this side, and this one is mainly the brood because you can see all the caps. Um, Ethan's gonna take one out right now. That's a lot of hatched yeah. eggs. Yep. And so yeah, th these guys are much, they're developing much quicker. Yeah. Um, and you can see that honey, as, yeah. and in the other hive, um, you can see like only part of one side was built out or three quarters of the whole thing but here it looks like you have full cover on both sides of the frames which is really good for development yeah so but with that being said we have to watch this one a little more carefully uh to make sure they don't overcrowd mm -hmm. so how many would you say are <coughs> built out i would say it's like five yeah i'd say there's like five that are really built out on this one I don't think we're at that point yet, um, but okay. maybe in the next couple <coughs> weeks would be perfect time for us to... Yeah. Uh, this one is definitely closer than the other hive we were looking at to becoming... To put in the honey yeah, super. just throwing that honey super in there, so we'll keep our eyes out for that. Alright, and... There we go. Alright. Throw this on there now, and there we go. All right, so I hope you guys learned something new today. And I think only our last thing is the name drawing. Yeah, so I will go get the all the names. Any insights from Grandma for today? amazing what these young people have done. It's just um, incredible. I hope I can come back and see the hives as they progress. Alright, so how many names are we doing today? 
three? No, it's a three name. Three or four? One, no, one three. Yeah, we'll all pick one name. Yeah, no, we'll pick out. Oh, good, cool. thank you. I think you should do five and let the girls pick one. Even all better. Right. Yeah. More merch for the people. We love all to right. see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> number one, we have Corey Fittis. Number two, we have Chris Martinez. Number three, we have Vincent Carrillo. Number four, we have Patrick Duffy. And I'll walk this over. Yeah, we'll take two more. segment from Saturdays and from Bees. Um, in the meantime, do your best to help protect and save the bees. We'd love to see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks.